Jamaica's finance minister, Dr. Peter Phillips, came out swinging in parliament on Wednesday as he closed the 2015-2016 budget debate. He dismissed the opposition's claims that there are discrepancies in the budget. Opposition spokesman on finance, Audley Shaw, had questioned the deficit in the budget. He claimed the government had a greater shortfall than the 10.4 revenue measures proposed. However, in a response, Dr. Phillips blasted the opposition for its political immaturity and deceptive nature. On March 12th, when I opened the debate, I made it clear that if we exclude both the additional compliance and any new measures, then a gap of approximately 22.8 billion will exist. Far from being deceptive, the budget presentation actually made it transparent that an additional 12.4 billion in compliance yield had been programmed to the revenue estimates. This should have been clear and straightforward for any reasonable person reading the tabled documents and presentations. Mr. Speaker, we have to do better than this. We cannot just cavalierly impugn the reputation of the country and the integrity of its officials, not to mention threaten the country's access to global financial markets by suggesting that there is deception at work in the documents presented by the government of Jamaica. We can't do this just to score political points. And Dr. Phillips insists the budget will address the main needs of the Jamaican people. He argues that the budget was crafted to bring down the debt and to protect the most vulnerable and the poor. The truth is that this budget continues to support the progress that has been made by the country in correcting gross imbalances in our national accounts and in paying down the debt. It seeks to remain faithful to the solemn obligations that this government has entered into with the people of Jamaica to reduce the debt and honor our obligations that we have entered into with other members of the international community including the International Monetary Fund and the other multilateral institutions and our bilateral partners. This budget, Mr. Speaker, provides the resources for the improved delivery of health services. This budget provides the resources to continue the progress in bringing an end to the shift system in high schools and to expand the nutrition programs for our students as we continue our efforts to create a labor force and a population educated and trained to global standards.